Hey, welcome back. Let's talk about planetary defense. This is the kind of thing we don't want to happen. If you are hearing this bomb, oh, John, go. Hang on, Nathan. Seek shelter immediately. Seek shelter immediately. Our solar system is full of asteroids. What's an asteroid? It's probably a protoplanet of bits of rubble that didn't stick together. There's a lot of them between Mars and Jupiter. And when I say there's a lot of them, there's a very lot of them. Millions and millions of these rocks, all different sizes, and they're pretty well behaved. They stay there. But just like a game of billiards, occasionally they bump into each other. And when that happens, one of them flies out. Now attracted by the sun's gravity, it heads towards the inner solar system, just where we are. <laughs> but the chances of it hitting us is pretty slight. But it is a risk. Ask the dinosaurs. Hmm. So what are we going to do about it? There is the coolest job title on planet Earth, and that is Planet Defense Officer. I want the job. <laughs> no, seriously, NASA and the US government have funded this Planet Defense Office to protect the planet. And what they've done is to split their job into three big parts. Part one, and that's where I've been incredibly smallly involved, is finding the little buggers. Most of the big asteroids, and I'm talking more than a kilometer, you know, a thousand meters in diameter, have already been tracked. They're pretty bright, they're pretty easy to see. But the smaller ones, less than a kilometre, half haven't been found. And, you know, 900 metres is going to cause a big lot of destruction. So we need to find them and track their orbit. So there's a number of programmes looking for these smaller asteroids and working out their trajectory. And to say if they're going to miss Earth, if they're trivial, meaning they're small and probably will burn up or cause almost no damage, or they are a significant risk. One of the most successful programs is the ATLAS program. ATLAS, Asteroid Last Chance Alert System, yeah? Who's set up to give our planet, Earth, a month's notice for planet-wide destruction, <sighs> a week's notice for countrywide and maybe a few days for city-wide destruction. And they're doing a great job. They found hundreds of these new little but significant asteroids. So far, they found over 50 that have actually hit the Earth, but they were insignificant. And the Atlas team, excitingly, are expanding to cover the whole of Earth with a observatory in South Africa, as well as observatories in the Northern Hemisphere. So we are going to be covered. It works by tracking things that move and working out their orbit. But what are you going to do with that data? And that's the second part of the planetary defense officer's job. They've set up an alert program with FEMA in North America and programs in Europe, I don't know what they're called though, to warn population of an incoming uh, asteroid. Uh, it's really accurate. They will know pretty well where it's gonna hit. So if we can just get people out of the way, jolly good. You don't wanna be in your car shouting, oh my God, as Asteroids are hitting your road. It's way too much of a Hollywood disaster movie for me. I want to get out of the way. And thirdly, and this is just so exciting, let's do something about the rogue asteroids by moving them. And that all started last Friday at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Whoosh! The takeoff of DART to redirect an asteroid. How fantastic is that? 
And are they going to nuke it and blow it up into a million fragments? No. The problem with doing that, if you blew up an asteroid, is so the asteroid's coming towards Earth, me, 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 and then you blow it up pshoom, into a million pieces, and guess what? A million pieces go me, 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 still towards Earth. You've just increased the problem. What you want to do is move it ever so slightly. So given enough notice, enough time, when it's far away, shoving it misses Earth. Ta -da! So that's what Dart's going to do. And it's going to do it by crashing into it. Why not? It's not going to move it very much. The size analogy is the Dart spacecraft is the size of a golf cart and the asteroid's the size of one of the big pyramids, so it's just going to go donk. But hopefully the donk is enough just to shift it a tiny bit. And if it's far enough away, it will miss Kansas or Kilburn, wherever you live. Good. So when's it going to hit? Well, they chose a pair of asteroids, wonderfully named Didymos, the big one, and the tiny one going around it, Didymorphos. Asteroid muck, asteroid face, I don't know. Anyway, Didymos and Didymorphos. Didymorphos is the one that's going to get slammed into. And they chose one that's a long way away, just in case it all goes horribly wrong, which it won't. So we have to wait till October of 2022 maybe even November, you'd think they would know. Anyway, October, November, 2022, DART is going to hit Diddy Morphos. Bonk! Please, sir, please, sir, please, sir. How are we going to know it worked? Great question. It's tiny. The Italians have come to the rescue, as they do. Well done, Italy. Part of the DART mission are two cube satellites named after the people who uh, built them. Cube, cube face, one, and no, no, ignore me. Well, you do anyway, but anyway, listen on. What they're gonna do is the cube satellites are going to hover above Diddy Morphos and watch DART on its death plunge to hit the asteroid. Pa poof and then hang around to see if it moved. Ta -da! If it did, we're onto a winner. This is great. Back to the Atlas system. Let's spot Earth interactive asteroids far enough out. Back to Vandenberg, launch another dart and move the little guy away from our farm here in France or wherever. That would be a win-win situation. Well, I hope that gave you a bit of a bigger overview. A number of channels have done DART the mission, but the Planet Defense Office, I think, is the bigger picture with three parts. Finding the buggers, warning us buggers, and then moving the buggers. <laughs> Excuse my French. So before a rogue asteroid hits me, I'm going to bugger off. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and support my channel for more fascinating facts, because the truth is out there.